Simone Biles is poised to mount an Olympic-sized comeback. For the first time in nearly two years, the most decorated gymnast of all time is scheduled to compete again at the U.S. Classic outside Chicago in early August. It's a highly anticipated return after the 4'11 powerhouse stunned the world in 2021, withdrawing from most of her events at the Tokyo Olympic Games after suffering from something known in gymnastics as the twisties, a mental block that causes a disconnect between the brain and body. Almost looked like she got a little bit lost in the air, which I've frankly never seen her do. Biles saying the emotional toll of the Olympics, not a physical injury, prompted her decision to pull back on the sport's biggest stage. Physically, I feel good. I'm in shape. Um, emotionally, that kind of varies on the time and the moment. She used her platform on the global stage to highlight the importance of mental health. I have to focus on my mental well-being, and that's what I did. You sure did. That was brave. Thank you. It was hard working five years for a dream and just having to give it up. It was not easy at all. Shortly after the Tokyo Games, the stress Biles was under became more clear when she testified before Congress about the sexual abuse she and countless other gymnasts suffered from former USA Gymnastics doctor Larry Nasser. Biles telling Hoda about the immense weight she carried. I love this sport so much, but it's hard. I'm sorry. And I don't think people understand the magnitude of what I go through. Though she's taken much of the past two years off, she's never given up on the sport she loves headlining the Gold Over America Tour with other high-profile gymnasts. And earlier this year, she married Green Bay Packers safety Jonathan Owens. And I'm so happy I get to love you forever. Now as the 2024 games in Paris approach, hopes are flying high that Biles can go for gold again. So the U.S. Classic that Biles will compete in is a little more than six weeks away. It is one of the marquee events in USA Gymnastics and a warm-up for the national championships, guys. All right, Kaylee, thank you so much. Joining us now is NBC Olympics primetime host Mike Tirico. Well, this was kind of a little earthquake that yes. hit, the, hit us yesterday. What were your initial thoughts when you saw that she was going to step back into competition? Yeah, good morning, everyone. This is lurking out there because Simone never closed the door and said, I'm done, right? So you never know if an athlete's going to want to come back and give it one more shot. And, and, you know, we've been around a lot of great athletes. Great athletes like to control the end. They like to leave on top. The way Simone left in Tokyo is not representative of her incredible career. So that had to be a little bit of what's burning inside to see if she can do it one more time. Well, I mean, if she wanted to, I mean, sorry, we're just, let's go ahead and get yeah. ahead of ourselves, okay? <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> Call go her ahead. us excited. That yeah. if, if she wanted to make a go for the Paris Olympics, having been out of yeah. this kind of elite training all these years, is it possible with the asterisk that it's Simone Biles and yeah. she is not human <laughs> like the rest of us? Sure, absolutely. Hey, a lot of folks are heading out for Fourth of July holiday. You got to start someplace to get to the destination. So this is the start. Test it. Does it work here? Then you've got the U.S. Championships the end of the month. The World Championships are in Belgium in September, all part of the lead up to next year. Does she have to do this whole road? No. But she can get started and see, okay, am I over the mental stuff? Mm -hmm. you know, the twist is an issue. Do I want to go for the next year and try this absolute sellout to be one of the best in the world? Mm -hmm. So this is the first step. This is getting the car out of the driveway, getting on the road, mm -hmm. and seeing if you're going to get there. I mean, Mike, you could make the argument that our gymnastics squad is, is probably one of the best uh, of, of all of our Olympic squads. She's 26 years old now. H how would she stack up against the rest of the gymnasts that are already on the team or projected to be on the team. Yeah, as somebody who's old, it's hard to say 26 is old, right? But in gymnastics, 26 is old. We haven't had somebody 27. She would be the oldest to compete on a U.S. Olympic women's gymnastics team in 72 years. Could she be 27 next year oh. in Paris? And when I was on Savannah's boondoggle to Paris last uh, <laughs> couple weeks ago, Jordan Childs was there, right? She's ready. We know there are many good gymnasts for the U.S. team, so making the team isn't easy, but because of Simone's unbelievable resume and her accomplishments obviously if she opens the door she's got to think she's got a chance yes. i think you're right i mean savannah said it she's superhuman if she wants to do it she'll do it and i can i can kind of picture it you know what maybe mike maybe it. simone was watching she saw yeah. us in paris she said that looks that pretty looks, that looks good fun maybe i ought to get going <laughs> for paris how about that yeah it was the gymnast the eiffel tower you the rose <laughs> the whole deal she said i'm in and, you know remember one thing huh. she always said she wanted to compete in paris her yeah. coaches are french so oh. this 
this is part of the long term dream. The puzzle we'll coming happens. together. Oh, kind of right. justifying that big expense, uh, right? Oh, like Le Boon Doglet continues to give. All right. Thank you, Mike. We should mention you will be able to watch the U.S. Classic right here on NBC, and it'll be streaming on Peacock, too. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.